And you seem happy to see me. You feel like to take some chances, don't you, lady? So how'd you break away from Victor for this little meeting? It was simple. I just told him I had to pick up some packages from that shopping trip I was supposed to be on this morning. Yeah, simple. I want you to keep in mind that man can be shrewd and dangerous. I don't even want to think what would happen to you if he found out you were double-crossing him. He's not even going to notice that I'm gone. He's too upset. Yeah, upset. Well, did he say anything to you? No, not to me, but he's been on the phone practically every minute since we left that cafe. And he has a very grim look on his face. Who was he talking to? Same people, different people? He's Greek most of the time. I don't even know what he's talking about. Yeah, well, that means one of two things. Either he's deeply sad and over the... But that was the computer disk in the package. I'll take the second choice. Me too. Which means not only Victor has lost the disk, so have we. Well, what are we going to do now? We don't have a choice. Only one thing we can do, and that's stick with the operation just as planned. You mean that I have to stay with Victor? Well, he's got a better handle on who's still at this than we do. Our best hope is that Curiox can find it and lead us right to it. You got a problem with that? No, of course not. Of course. It's going to sound like you might have. No, no, I was just getting a little bit bored, that's all. You know, I thought if he didn't have the disc anymore that I didn't have to hang around with him, but it's no big deal. Yeah, well, Kyriakis isn't going to let that disc stay out of his sight for too long, and we'll wrap this case up, and then you can spend a little time with whoever you like. Yeah, I didn't realize this spy business was going to be so difficult. Glad at least I had a chance to report to you. Me too. Well, I guess I better be going. told Victor you were going to go do some shopping. You're right. Thanks. Guided tour of the Acropolis. I'm afraid there's been a change of plans. I'm not going to be able to go with you today. I have to go to a meeting. Oh, well, that's all right. I'm sure that your work here is much more important than showing me the site. Well, it really isn't that important. It's just that I can't think of a way to get out of it. I hope you understand. Oh, no, it's, it's fine. Don't worry. I'll just get a guidebook and I'll send for myself. My man Dimitri is at your disposal anywhere you want to go. Oh, no, that's okay. I'll be fine by myself. No, listen, I'm not taking any chances after that man was murdered yesterday. Then you did know him. No, I didn't say that. It's just that Athens can be a very dangerous city. And a young, defenseless woman like yourself just might not be safe. Well, then maybe I shouldn't go out at all. As you wish. My meeting shouldn't take too long. I'll be waiting for you. If you need anything, Dimitri will be right in earshot. How convenient. I'll see you later, then. Good meeting. I hope to. You know, I don't get it. Thomas. This meeting isn't very important. It's 
What does he want you out of the way? Crazy, how did you get in here anyway? What'd you do, scale the wall? I got my ways. Oh, so now you're Spider-Man. The Incredible Hunk wasn't enough for you. Don't you mean the Incredible Hulk? Hulk? Well, that's, that's what I said. I said the Incredible... No, you didn't. You said Hunk. No, I didn't. So you think I'm an Incredible Hunk, <laughs> do you? There's the car outside. <laughs> Look, we don't have time for a discourse on comic book heroes. Now, what are you doing here anyway? Well, we had to meet somehow, didn't we? Don't you realize the risk you're taking, Kiriakis, was just in here? The incredible hunk knows that. And I think I came just in time to gather an important piece of information. Don't you agree? Roman, why is he having me guarded all of a sudden? Well, I got a feeling that uh, this little meeting he's got is more important he's letting on about the computer disc, isn't it? Uh-huh. And about his dead buddy in the cafe the other day. I can't believe this. This would be the perfect opportunity for me to follow him and find out who he's meeting with, and there's a guard outside the door. Hmm. How did you get no, here? Hey, 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 hey. You're not sneaking out of here, lady. But if I don't, then how are we going to find out? No, just because you can't doesn't mean that I can't. How do you expect to drop in on Kyriakis' meeting? I told you before, Diane, I have my ways. Oh, right. You're going to go from the Spider-Man to the Invisible Man, right? Don't forget the Incredible Hunk. I'm sure you're not going to let me. You're the one who said it. I didn't say it. Yes, you did. I wish I had a tape recorder. So do I. I could prove it to you. Look, just remember, this is not comic book stuff, all right? I mean, someone's already been killed here and it could happen again. You remember that. Now don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. I'm not. I mean, I am, but, you know, I would be about anybody. Yeah, well, same here. Look, why don't you just get out of here? Victor might come back to say goodbye. I'm going to try and keep in touch with you. I'll fill you in on what happened in this meeting, all right? Well, you know where to find me. You know I do. Roman, you're not going to go out the same way you came in, are you? Diana, I don't think your pal Demetrio out there would think that I'm the, uh, the maid, right? Thank <laughs> you.